Hi, my name is Dr. Lisa Bannist and I'm a dermatologist in Burbank, California. Today I want to talk to you about skin cancer screening. There are several kinds of skin cancers that we typically see as a dermatologist. The most common one is called a basal cell carcinoma, a pink bump on the skin almost like a pimple that doesn't go away. Basal cells bleed easily when rubbed or you dry your face with a towel. So you want to be alert for something like that that's not going away after a month or two. The next most common skin cancer is squamous cell. This is typically a rough, scaly, or hard bump, commonly on the sun-exposed areas of the body, such as the face, the ears, or the scalp in men. We see these also on the chest and arms and back. The more serious form of skin cancer is a malignant melanoma. And this typically occurs as a very dark spot on the body that tends to be growing over some months or even some years. In a skin exam, we look thoroughly at all the moles on a person's body from the head down to their toes. If we're not sure about a mole or we're suspicious of a mole, we will do a biopsy, which means we take a sample of it for the lab and they will look at the mole under the microscope to see if there's any unusual cells there. Treatment of skin cancer depends on the location and the size and the type of skin cancer. There are various risk factors for skin cancer. The highest risk is sun exposure. So someone that's had a lot of sun on their skin or even tanning booths is at a greater risk for skin cancer. Their family history plays a role as well. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends that each person do self-skin examinations once a month and notify their doctor if they see a changing or new mole. In addition, we recommend you have your skin examined once a year by a dermatologist to catch any changing or suspicious moles.